Welcome to Monster Man. Ah! Today on Monster Man, we're going to talk about a couple of other men. We're Monster Men. One of our favorite new set of men. Yeah. The comic book men. It's raining men. Yeah. <laughs> Tear off the roof and stay in bed. Uh, comic book men on AMC right after The Walking Dead. Great idea by AMC to just keep that geek that audience. You know, uh, people like us uh, love the show. So I know someone who lives in Red Bank, New Jersey. And before that show came on, she said... Yeah, Kevin Smith owns this comic book store, and they were film, filming something there the other day. So I, oh, really? I want to go check it out. Right. We went in, saw all this awesome memorabilia from the, the Kevin store Smith looks stuff. Sweet as hell. It's narrow, and yeah. it looks bigger on TV than it is in real life. A couple weeks later, lo and behold, comic book man after Walking Dead. <laughs> what? It's a whole TV show. Now, I'm not, here, here guys, Kevin Smith, I'm not going to rag on you, but your show is kind of derivative of the monster. <laughs> we were here first. I we mean, the dates you know, on YouTube. You know, we've been doing, because when we watch, when they sit around and they do the, the radio show together, the fun that they have, just We know, feel like there's two crap. empty chairs that were saved for us to. <laughs> so we'll come down anytime. Red yeah, really, just about an hour from here. Um. Since the show has debuted, we'll talk about what we think of the show. Mm -hmm. um, I was lucky enough to get back there. Yeah. And just for Monster Men, I purchased a couple of props. <clears throat> so now, um, whenever you see these guys <clears throat> on the set, know that this came from the secret stash. Yeah. As well as this shirt. There's Jay. There's Silent Bob. No, no, that's Silent Bob, because he doesn't talk often. That's, that's me and that's you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and eventually I'll get back down there and get Wolfman and the Creature from the Black Lagoon and whoever else they have. They what? had Underdog, and they had Riff Raff and Simon Bar Sinister. Simon Bar Sinister! And you're lucky I got these because we do this show. Because well, that's what I really want. Oh. Gorilla Wolf! Yeah. My sister and her husband Tom, Carolyn and Tom, they live in New Jersey. And they bought me stuff from their place in the past and I've always wanted to go there and I don't know why it happened. Well, we'll make a trek down there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I had a really restrained, they have, you know, comic books, they've got a ton of, I actually sent away for these shirts <laughs> a long time ago. Robo Zombies, from, baby. Um, Zack and Miri shoot a porno. <laughs> um, but you walk in and they've got these on a rack, right. they've got hoodies, I'm like, oh, so this was where I ordered it from. Oh, probably. man. Um, They've got the big cow from Clerks 2 in the fast food place. Is Rosario Dawson in there? Um, I would not have Dancing to little Jackson 5? No, but um, Jay is out front doing the Buffalo Bill dance. <laughs> oh. oh, no. And doing his drinking, drinking beer, smoking weed, <laughs> doing drugs. Omi, omi, omi. I wouldn't doubt Jason just hanging out there. Well, in the, one of the last episodes, he shows up and he's playing with dolls. And the, oh, I and saw like, when he was well, trying I to get all the two comics. Things. I'm going to show a picture of me in front of the place. If you watch the show, they had the Batmobile there. Oh, yeah. That was so sweet. I was standing right in the spot where the Batmobile was parked. But I'm parked there. It was like some white car. These people, right when I was going to take a picture, pull up and... See, but stop right there. This is how iconic the Batmobile is. Jack just said I was parked where the Batmobile was parked. I was standing right there. That's incredible. That's how iconic that big Batmobile moment. is. And I'm, they talked about one point, what's the best Batmobile? For me, it's the Adam West one. I'm going with the Adam West one. Yeah, exactly. uh, first of all, I That's don't I up like... With. Kevin Smith liked the one in um, the Michael Keaton Batman. I didn't like that one. I hated that one. I hate... The only Batmobile I like from those movies is the newest the right. Tumblr from the Dark Knight and uh, Batman Begins. Yeah, that would be my second, but my first is... Uh, we're in agreement on the that Ad one. Oh, my Adam God. West one is the best. Which, there's a movie called Benchwarmers with... Um, John Heater. It's John Heater that? and um, Rob Schneider. And, Lucky. And John Lovitz plays a millionaire guy. He's got the Batmobile and Kit and all these other <laughs> iconic cars. 
It's but yeah, nice. if I had that kind of money, I'd have me. Now, the Batmobile that they had on, on Comic Con was actually signed by Adam West. That was crazy. I'm like, are you kidding me? Uh, what? Here, this is what I was wondering. Do they sell anything at the Secret Stash? Or do people just come in trying to like sell their crap on them? I very rarely show anybody buying anything. I would have felt weird. When I went in there, it was very quiet. There was a bunch of people in there, not a ton. And first I'm like getting my picture taken in front. And some local dude comes up to me and he's like, Hey, what are you doing? And I was telling him, I was like, I got to get a picture to show my partner. We do a stupid podcast about monsters. He's going to be so jealous of me. Yeah, I um, was. And uh, he's like, oh, did you know the church from Dogma is right down the street? No! I had parked right in front of the church in front uh, of Dogma. I didn't take a picture of that. But Where's the strip club with Salma Hayek? Oh, my God. Candy girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've lost track of what... Oh, so I Walt was in there the second time I went in when I got my picture taken. Right. So I, I was looking as to what to get, and I decided to get the bobblehead dolls for the, for the show. So I went up to him and I was like, "Should I talk about the show?" Or uh, I decided right. to just be Did normal. Play it cool. Play it cool. <laughs> I talked about bobbleheads. Hey man, you got a bobblehead? And then on the shelf behind him, it, it looked like Mrs. Claus from the Rankin and Bass. Oh. Out of the box, like kind of leaned over, and a 1970s Mr. Spock doll had fallen on top of. <laughs> and so I said to him, I was like, hey, what's Mr. Spock doing to Mrs. Claus over there? <laughs> right. Is he, uh, he giving her the old uh, Vulcan <laughs> neck pitch, if you know what I mean? And he, he like, he, the thing is, he was on the phone half the time, and then he got off, he was talking to me. Um, but it was pretty funny, but. Oh, let me tell you, great character. <laughs> these are funny-ass guys. And these are guys that we hang out with. The type of guys, like, I would think I'm kind of, uh, I can be kind of like a, a, a uh, the uh, Brian kind of guy. I just need a bigger, you know, beard and mustache. Oh, that guy is... Walter, Mike. Mike is like the stoic, kind of quiet guy, and I got a friend who's just like Mike, kind of... My friend Anthony uh, Ventarola. You remind me of Mike a lot. Uh, Ming is kind of like the young guys that, in various jobs that I've done some, like, hazing to. <laughs> so, I mean, everybody... I relate to everybody that's on that show, man. I think I relate most to Kevin Smith. Me and, me and him... I listen to him talk, and I'm like, well, we grew up, we're the same exact age, we watch the same exact TV show. Yeah, yeah I, I've watched a lot of his, uh, when he does the, the, the talks, he'll go and he'll just, they do these movies with his talks, and my brother-in-law, Tom, a lot of times will say, dude, you're Kevin Smith. I'm like, thanks, thank you very much. Anthony from Opie and money. Anthony, the radio show, Kevin Smith and us too, should do a show together. Be all the same, and Morgan, our buddy. Here we go. And that would be the, the Gauntlet is Thrown, Monster Man, Comic Book show Man, right o there. O and A. Comic Book Man, Monster Man, Monster Mash Rain. How about Monster Man doing Monster Rain? What the heck? Let's Dolan. get on the porch. Disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> if you know Monster Rain, look it up. We're not going to tell you what no, it is. No, you figure it out for yourself. Um, but, I mean, they, they, those guys have the conversations that you and I have over beers all the time. Yeah. What superpower would you want? What did you, you know, who's which is the best Batman movie? All, all that kind yeah. of stuff that we hate to say. Geek it, talk. There's a whole generation of guys our age that are still buying Star Wars stuff and looking at glass cases, going, "Look at that Captain Kirk statue." I'm still a Captain America freak. Forty three. There's Captain America. There's Captain America. So I love this. This stuff. summer you got Avengers. The new Spider-Man and Dark Knight Rises. I'm psyched for Avengers. Kind of ready to see Batman. Spider-Man, you know, I'll see it. My pecking order is Dark Knight Rises, Avengers, Spider-Man. I got more excited about the Spider-Man because I saw... I don't really love the 3D thing that's crazing the world right now, but yeah. I saw the preview for that. I went and saw the Star Wars in 3D, which was terrible. The 3D was bad, but the... Um, Another reworking of the Star Wars saga. The preview for Spider-Man in 3D looked awesome. Yeah. I was like, oh. And he's got manual web shooters in this one, so it's more oh, okay. loyal to the... Right. I don't know. Hey, you know what? I wasn't a big Spider-Man fan growing up. I was. I was. Um, and this is back when you could order comics and they would be delivered in a brown wrapper. It was almost like a dirty magazine. Every month I would get Captain America, Fantastic Four, uh, Rom Space Knight. 
him. Moon Knight. Was, it Ra was Ram a doll first or the comic book first? It was the comic book first to try and sell. It w I think they had a deal with Hasbro at the time. They were trying to sell dolls. Uh, Moon Knight, which was a Batman ripoff, uh, basically. Uh, and the Avengers. Those are the ones that I just, you know, devoured when I was a kid. Yeah. And Shogun Warriors. Oh my god. Issue 1 through 20 that I sold to pay some bills back when I got married. Yeah, I was more of a Spider-Man. I like the X-Men. Wolverine changed the game for me. When... I love the X-Men. I should say, yeah, I did love the um, X-Men. But I always loved Spider- The 60s TV show for me was what Spider-Man. That put him on the map. Oh my god. That, and remember the... Uh, the Best one... theme song ever. The Captain America and Incredible Hulk. Oh, those, and, yeah, the old... Uh, which Captain were like America a cutout that was moved around. Show. That was hysterical. The Hulk Doc, Bruce Banner built it. The like Gamma Rays turns into the Iron Hulk. Iron Man, Thor. Thor oh. had the worst theme song. I don't even remember Thor's song. That's Mighty how bad it was. Thor. <laughs> and then we had like a still photo and it would like sail across. The, oh my god. Um, yeah. The, really bad animation. But yeah, We loved it. We ate it up. Dark Knight Rises can't get here quick enough for me because I'm just like... I, I watch The Dark Knight like every other day. I just hope Christian Bale has some throat lozenges. Don't down the voice a little bit. Let's just stop with this. It's now a joke. Anne Hathaway is Catwoman. Jury's out. Mm, I don't know. She's got really big features. She's got a couple of really nice big features. <laughs> Back to Kevin Smith real quick. You yeah. saw Red State. I haven't. Yeah, I saw Red State. Uh, that you, got, you have to see this movie. This is uh, You would never know this is a Kevin Smith movie at all because this is a very... This is a serious movie. It's got a dark... There are political overtones in it? There's religious overtones to this movie where it's just it's these kids that are captured by these religious zealots and it's kind of like a little Waco, Texas thing going on there. It is excellent. It's the best thing that Kevin's put out in years. And I mean, it is so good. And so unlike anything he's done. But when you watch his... The, the, um, the movies that he does where he goes and he speaks before a crowd, you understand the evolution that he's going through and how this is just a natural progression of what he's what he's living in his life and his creative life and it's just keep going Kevin that was awesome do more of that and less cop out <laughs> yeah exactly although clerks 3 I'll take clerks 3 if you're going to do clerks 3 something. just keep Rosario Dawson in it I'm going to watch Mall Rats it. tremendous movie Mall Rats 2 how about that there's a great where Shannon Doherty is like standing looking at the painting thing the eye <laughs> and so a kid walks up and just says, Brenda. And I was like, that's awesome. And then him, Kevin Smith with the Batman thing. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Man. I just let, and uh, the first Kevin Smith movie I ever saw is probably still my favorite. is Dogma. Dogma was tremendous. Oh. That pissed off a lot of people. And um, <laughs> Ultra Catholic people. Dogma? What are you watching that for? George Carlin is a bishop. <laughs> the greatest oh. casting ever. No, nah, that's a great movie. And I mean, I love the show. Comic Book Men is a really enjoyable show. The only thing I will say, and I, I know Kevin has, has said this uh, other places, didn't know whether it should be an hour or a half an hour. I think it might be better, you know, baked down to a half an hour. You know, if it was a half hour, I mean, people give us crap. Some people want us to do longer podcasts, and people want us to do shorter ones, and we try and mix them up. But uh, if they did a half hour, you'd get more shows. You could show them back to back. Right. You but can then do in syndication or whatever you could. Yeah, so that's just our only suggestion. Love the show. I mean, that's kind of. But like Red us. Bank, New Jersey, great little town. A lot of cool restaurants and bars too. We're going. Um, I'm going now. I think it's 109 off the Garden State Parkway. All right, see you. I'm out of here. Peace out. All right, bye. <laughs> All right, well, I guess that's it for Monster Man. We're going to Red Bank. See you next time. <laughs>